closure countdown. This is a live look over the zoo interchange where in just a matter of hours, a freeway many of us drive every day will be shut down for the entire weekend. We've warned you, of course, for days about this. Now we are just six hours away from the biggest freeway closure of the summer. Yep, starting at 11 p.m., I-94 will shut down in both directions between Highway 100 and U.S. 45. That's what you see here in red on this map. It won't reopen until 5.30 Monday morning. WISN 12 News' Tony Valliere is live from the Zoo Interchange tonight. And Tony, while this closure might frustrate drivers, it adds stress to an already stressful job, EMTs. It definitely could, Toya. We are off uh, Highway 100, just off Blue Mound in Wauwatosa. And as you can see behind me, I-94, Friday rush hour in full effect. Traffic moving gradually but slowly. And, of course, that is normal on a Friday afternoon. Now, if we pan across Highway 100, you can check out exactly what crews will be working on over the weekend. They will be putting a new train trestle over the freeway as part of the zoo interchange project. Now, bottom line, this could be a total traffic nightmare. The closure could also be challenging for EMTs, as you mentioned, especially when a few seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Milwaukee County Emergency Medical Services Center is prepared. EMS Communications will be guiding ambulances through the construction zone. Program Director Kenneth Sternig says they are all aware of the latest changes, closures, and detours on the roads so they can relay that information to the rescue crews. Some of the patients that are being transported will be trauma patients who are in critical need of urgent transport to the, the campus. So it was really important for us to be able to uh, speak to them kind of on a real-time basis and have real-time data, uh, traffic data for them to, to make decisions on taking alternative routes. Sternick says the center will communicate with ambulances going to any of the hospitals near the zoo interchange to make sure that they get there the quickest way possible. And as you can see, again, uh, traffic uh, rush hour is in full effect, but we could, of course, see uh, much more of a traffic headache a little later on when I-94 closes at the zoo interchange in less than six hours. We are live in Wauwatosa. Tony Valliere, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Tony. Our team coverage continues with Matt Salemi and News Chopper 12. Matt, you have an easy way to get around the closure if you happen to be heading east to Milwaukee. That's right. Say you're out in Oconomowoc or Brookfield and you want to head eastbound and head down to Festa Italiana. Well, the construction zone, the freeway closure is going to be right here at Highway 100. Now, they've installed this off-ramp. It's a temporary off-ramp, and you can see this is where they're going to be forcing everybody that stays with the freeway off, and it's just a single file line likely to be causing some delays. Now, the best way to get around it, we have a map for you, would be to exit at Moreland Road. Get yourself off the freeway well before you get to this point and have to funnel yourself down into the construction zone. You can take Moreland Road over to the Highway 45 ramps and reaccess the freeway on the other side of the construction project. Coming up tonight on 12 News at 6, we'll have a look at the other direction if you're heading from downtown and want to get out to Waukesha County. Reporting live at News Chopper 12, Matt Salemi, WISN 12 News.